We are talking cold immersion and ice baths and breath work and some of my favorite things today on the show. And my guest is Joshua Church. He is on a mission to free humans from the shackles of modern life. I love it. He's the co-founder of Edge Theory Labs, where he and his cousin built the first, uh, the world's first iceless ice bath with built-in filtration, hot tub mode, which I just found out. I'm like, it has hot tub mode and it filtered. Sorry, and a, and a portable design that fits into a backpack. So freaking cool. Joshua leads workshops, retreats, and unique experience to share the mindsets, tools, and tactics to help ambitious people operate as a more happy, health, healthy, and successful human being. Um, he also hosts the Find the Others podcast and is passionate about cultivating growth through community. Um, he was also named to the Forbes 30 Under 30 class of 2024 and completed his first full Ironman triathlon in 2023. Um, he's a ton of fun. We had a blast on this episode. Um, if you have followed me for any length of time, you probably know that I'm a huge fan of cold immersion, ice baths. I'll take cryotherapy. I'll take cold showers. I'll take any kind of cold I can get. And also um, breath work has been one of the most powerful modalities uh, for somatic trauma release all the way to um, being more in touch with source, God, the divine. For me, I'm I, I, just such a fan of all of these things and so much great information being shared today. I'm also geeking out really hard on these tubs. They are really cool. Hot tub mode, come on now. Hot tub mode, that's freaking smart. And it's portable, super cool. Um, so check those out at edgetheorylabs.com and they did offer a $150 off coupon code for you guys as my listeners. The coupon code is code Coach Tara as usual. So check that out. Um, I also just so you know, like we mentioned in the episode, but it's, I didn't even know he had hot tub mode and all this stuff. And that already I was like, wow, finally, like an ice bath that keeps itself cold. That isn't like over $10,000, you know, <laughs> so they can be really pricey. His are very, very affordable. And he gets into all that on the episode. So anyway, let's go ahead and dive in hear a little bit of his story and how he got to this place. Very inspiring and appreciate him doing the work to bring this to the world. So let's go ahead and dive in. Here is Joshua Church. Okay, so Joshua, a lot of uh, my listeners probably know I'm a pretty big fan of cold immersion, ice baths, any sort of cold. Um, and so I'm really excited to have you dive in with us today really deeply on that topic because it's become such an important part of my life and so special to me and like one of my mm. favorite modalities for many reasons. Um, stress response to the actual, you know, physiological benefits that you get. Um, I'd say probably for me, like stress response training is like my favorite. It really changes your relationship with stress, but you have, I mean, you've used cold for like such an important reason in your life, how you got into it. And would you mind sharing that journey before we dive into, you know, ice baths and cold and science? I, I love it. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a pleasure to be here. And I was loving to the chance to be able to share with people because I, I did not think that cold was going to be the teacher and healer that it was in my life and the medicine that it became. I did not think I was going to be running a cold tub company. <laughs> I truly like when people ask, how did you start this? Why did you start this? I said, to be honest, by complete accident, it was, it was absolutely accidental because of just the healing journey I was on. And so I think every, every story starts with that and we're all on our own healing journeys. And, and that's it at the end of the core. I love the Ram Das quote. We're all just walking each other home at the end of the day. Yeah. And one of the biggest teachers in my, in my life became the cold. And I, I grew up in San Diego, California as a, a sun creature, loving the beach, a total beach bum. So the cold was not, not no friend of mine. And uh, I, I, I was forced onto a path of alternative healing by, by the age of 20. I, I had gone through a couple of different traumatic injuries and surgeries. I, um, you know, to name a couple, I, I was hours away from having my leg amputated from a rare thing called compartment syndrome. I, um, I had appendicitis, but the doctor nicked an artery during the surgery. So I had internal bleeding, had to get blood transfusions. I almost died. And I had knee, re knee, knee reconstruction surgery from ACL and LCL that led to chronic back pain. And so basically by the, by the age of 20, this all happened before I was 20. And when I was born, my lung collapsed minutes after I was born. So by the age of 20, I'm pretty beat up and I'm feeling really out of touch in my body. And I'm sure that you or some of your listeners, anybody listening to this can probably relate to like the feeling of just losing trust in your body when you're just like, shit, I'm sick again, or I'm injured again. Like, what the hell, what do I got to do to stay healthy? Right. Come on. 
This, yeah. this body's failing me. I don't feel com- I don't feel comfortable in my body. I don't feel confident in my body, and I have zero trust in my body. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, there has to be another way. And at that point, the best the doctors could do is literally say, like, here's Percocet or here's a high grade ibuprofen. I'm like, good luck. And I refused. I refused to accept that. Right. I'm, I'm 20 years old. I'm like, this cannot be the way my rest. I was. I like to be active. I played basketball. I, I like to run. I was. I was active. And but I couldn't do any of that anymore because I was just in so much pain. And and uh, when one door closes, another opens. And the door that opened for me was starting to do yoga. Yoga was a thing that was a gateway that got me deeper into my body. And it was the first time doing a yoga class that I felt this sense of relief on during Shavasana at the end of class. It was like, whoa, but my body wasn't screaming at me for the first time. Mm-hmm. What was that? Let me, let me learn more about, about that. So I went down in that. I started changing my, my lifestyle, my diet, um, started eating real food and good food and dropped the processed food. I stopped drinking. I stopped smoking weed. And I just started to see what I was able to shift in my body physically. I was able to regain mobility and flexibility and could sit on my knees. And I was like, holy moly, wait a second. I can change this. And this body, like Mm -hmm. it's malleable and I don't have to, I can actually do things that are within my control that are not necessarily a pill that can change that. And that led me to in 2017 or 2019, rather going on to a Wim Hof method retreat in Iceland. And I just resonated. I heard him on a podcast and resonated with his message that we are in control of our own health, our own strength and our happiness. And I wanted to go experience that. And he was talking about the cold and this breath work thing. And I'm like, Oh, might as well go try that. I'm, I'm deep in the rabbit hole. Now I'm down to try anything that can help me heal. And the cold and the breath work were the, it was like the two tools I was waiting for. Mm. And after experiencing breath work and the first, first time I ever did breath work, laying down, doing a breathing journey, I'm laying there, I'm breathing, I'm following the instruction. And then all of a sudden I feel this, this, this tickle right by the site where I had my appendicitis surgery and it started to build. And the instructor said, keep breathing, breathe into whatever you're feeling, kept breathing and breathing, worked mm. its way up, up, up to my throat, got caught here for a second, just kept breathing. Next thing I know, I'm bawling. Like I never cried before in my life and just released that and cried. Like, you know, past the point of just crying, like you're you're not even making a sound because you're sobbing. I'm sobbing so much. Yeah. And after that, my shoulders were dropped and released. I I had this sense of compassion with my body. I'm like, oh, body, I love you. Thank Mm -hmm. you. Like you've been through so much for me. And mm-hmm. your heart, I love you. You kept beating of all the things mm-hmm. you kept beating for me. Thank you. And it opened the door up to that point. My relationship with my body was very one dimensional. It was one way. It was like, I told my body what to do. And I was, I was right. telling my okay, body, go do this or body. Why are you doing this? Like, why can't okay. you do this? Why are you not healthy? And I never once thought that my body was also speaking to me yeah. and that there was another road on the highway yeah. going South instead of Northbound of actually my body saying, Hey, I am here trying to tell you things. Yes. And perhaps that's why I'm trying to get your attention. And the only way I can get your attention is to injure you, right? Like perhaps yes. I'm trying to tell you something. There's a message yeah. for you here. Pain is a signal. It's a mechanism. It's feedback. Yeah. I'm giving you yeah. feedback and you're ignoring it. And it just and it changed my entire life. And so that, that's when I came back and I was just cold was such a way of, of like you said, building that stress tolerance, that stress, uh, changing my relationship with stress and ability to not brace my way through life and through yeah. challenges and through injury, but to actually embrace. And that shift from brace to embrace is why I fell in love with the cold. And I came home. I'm like, I got to share this with everybody. I had, before that I had become a yoga instructor. I then became a Wim Hof method instructor to guiding people through breath work and facilitation. I'm like, I have to learn more about this and share this with other people. And that took me deep down that rabbit hole and eventually led me to mm-hmm. linking up with my cousin, who's a smart, smartest guy I know and an engineer tinker kind of guy and said, Hey dude, I'm tired of buying ice. Can you help me build something that requires me to not have to buy ice when I'm going and doing these events and workshops? And we ended up building the world's first portable self-cooling ice bath. So that's my story. Mm, okay. Quick selfish question. How portable is this sucker? Cause like I'm the ice thing at retreats is kind of a BS. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if yeah, I, I feel you on that. It depends where, like it's portable enough to where you can easily like set it up, take it down, load it in your car, drive around okay. shipping it. You can, sh- you can also ship it like FedEx. We have like a Pelican carrying case. You can ship okay. FedEx. You can't, it's not like portable enough to bring on an airplane with you. Okay. The tub, yeah. the tub itself is, and the tubs are, are, are better than anything else. Cause it's the same, um, have you seen those stand up paddle boards that are inflatable? Like they're really yeah. durable. Uh-huh. So we built the tub using that. So it packs into a backpack, oh, okay. but it fills up and it's big. You can put two, three people in there and, yeah, um, and it's super durable. So you can like stand on the yeah. sides of it. It's, it's, it's more comfortable as well than like anything else. So full, yeah. full immersion easily. 
Okay. And then you've got like the, the motor unit thing. Correct. Right, the right, chiller obviously. unit is exactly, right. that's what does all the cooling. It also goes into hot tub mode. So you can go up to 104. So you can make it a little mini hot oh, tub. Oh, really? And then, yeah. It's a cool feature. I didn't realize and, that. Yeah. And then uh, it does all the cleaning as well. So you don't have to constantly drain and refill the water. Wow. Cause when you, the thing I got sick of with ice as well, and I had a Rubbermaid tub and was just adding ice is that it got pretty gnarly pretty quickly totally. and uh, you, know, you have to constantly drain and refill and keep buying ice. Right. So once you get into, once you're doing it on the daily, like this is not sustainable. So um, it became very right. worth it. Ooh. Okay. I had to ask those quick. I'm glad I asked yeah, that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. And I've seen your tubs around like, they're super nice. You know, I really, really appreciate Thank what you. you brought to the market and they're appreciate you know, that. Um, for how nice they are. I think the price is very fair compared to the, some of them out there. Oh, I know. And, and that's what <laughs> I like to say as well. Like, I mean, if, if, when we were, when I was working on this before we came to market, the only reason we started this is because there was nothing out there that was yeah. anywhere near. Like I wanted like, 15 20k was what, what these tubs are usually going for and i'm like i can't do that even if i wanted to and so yeah. and none of those i could even put on my i got in an apartment with a balcony or i could take those with me to do a workshop so i'm like i can't even if i wanted to and i had the money i couldn't do it Doesn't so that sense. was the thesis of how can we build something that's practical that's portable and that is also more affordable so yeah our our whole engineering process was how can we build the highest quality product at the most affordable price point and that's where we landed so our our our, our best product our hero product that has a commercial grade compressor hot and cold functionality one horsepower that's just under 5k so 4900 and then our we have another more residential cold only version that's just under 4k so 3900 yeah yeah, super fair. I mean, I know yeah. that's an investment, but I, like he said, right. like that, I was finding the same thing as you. I'm like, whoa, like 10, 15, 20K, like that's a Seriously. big investment in cold immersion. Whoa, yep. you know, yep. and yep. yours are nice. You know, the fact that it regulates the temperature like that for you, I didn't even know it could go hot. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's amazing. And then it cleans it for you. Like I had, you'll love this, at my house in Utah before we moved out here to Hawaii, my son got into cold immersion. He was like, he was on the Wim Hof app. He was like, got like recognized as like the youngest ever I love person it. on the app oh. to hit some achievement. This was not by me, by the way. He found it on, yeah. I mean, I've loved all this How stuff. How old is forever, he? But well, at the time, I think he was like 13 or something. He's 16 now, uh, yeah, 12, 13. Awesome. He did that independently oh. by himself. But anyway, then he begged me if he, if I bought him a like chest freezer, you know, yeah, chest to, like, freezer. Yep. It. and yep. he did. He's super handy. This was like last year when he was like 15. Fantastic. He, he did an amazing job. But even that, like, we're like, oh, uh, we got to like scoop all the water out of this yep. because the whole yep. situation isn't working in the basement and like, you know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I totally he, get it. If you can upgrade, well, that, it's real nice to upgrade. <laughs> and that's that's how that's how I actually wanted to start was because I'm like, okay, well, I can't buy any of these big expensive tubs. And so I, I went to Rob and I said, well, can you help me build it to hack a chest freezer? Because that was the only, that was the next, and I'm not handy enough like your son to be, to do the caulking the insides. And then like, I was just right. saying, I'm not, I'm, a, I'm not that guy. I humbly admit and so oh, that's where I went to Rob. He's like, what do you mean build a chest freezer? Like, what do you, what, what are you talking about? I'm like, no, so you do my ass like, like you're crazy. Like, no, you don't want to electrocute yourself or like lock yourself <laughs> in or it's not built right. for that. Like, you want cold water, right. let's build it a better way. Totally. So, um, but shout out to your son. That's incredible. He's got a, that's what an, He's, what an amazing tool to have and gift to have at that age. Totally. He's very, very, very handy that way. But yeah, anyway, we, ha we he sold it to some other teenagers before when we left Utah, they were very thrilled. Nice. And he was thrilled. He's, he's like, I, I made money on that. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> okay. Young entrepreneur. Okay. So I haven't even gotten into everything. I got so obsessed quickly with your tubs that I didn't, <laughs> I I didn't get to comment on anything you just said there. So first of all, I just want to say like, I love uh, how in the health field, there's so many of us that just wanted to feel better. And then mm. we really freaking found out how to feel better. And it was so miraculous and so amazing that to experience like what life can feel like when you are not feeling well in your health to like, it's like, it's literally like you die. It feels like I died. Like that was another mm. human that used to live. And now I live in this entire different reality. Like everything has changed. You too, like you built a business out of it. I mean, it is unbelievably exciting how good you can feel mm. when you get your health online. And I love that you, like your yoga experience was much like my weightlifting experience of like, Amazing. wait a minute, what? Like yeah. I can feel this good and I actually can just make these different choices and I can feel this good. Oh my gosh. Right? You know? <laughs> it's, it, it's so wild to, it's so wild to me. And, and one of the biggest impacts that I felt is I started doing yoga 
I started, I got rid of processed foods from my diet, um, started eating clean. And I noticed it was like, it was such a funny thing when I remember putting it together. I'm like, wait a sec, I'm not feeling an afternoon crash after lunch. Wait, right. Now, it's possible. Like you don't have to, I feel like just everybody deals with this. Like you need to have another cup of coffee after lunch because you eat and then you get tired. Right. It's like, wait, no, you actually don't have to do that based on the foods you're putting in your body and how you're treating your body outside of it. So I'm like, wait, this is, th- this is possible. Like you said, there's another right. level possible that most of us don't realize, but it's possible. And when you, when you first access that, it's this, it's like, you're gaining superpowers. You're like, Whoa, I can do this. Like I can feel energy in the morning and I can wake up and not feel slow or have my eyes be puffy and inflamed. That's actually, that's not normal. That's that, that I, I've been right. unwell. I've been operating. We get used to operating at this baseline that is just unwell that when we right. get a glimpse of what's, what's greater and beyond that, it's this enlightening experience. But I, I would venture to believe that most people are living at this, uh, at this level that we've accepted as normal, but it's actually just not well. Mm, so well said. Okay. I want to shift a little bit into benefits of cold and sure. I can offer some up too. Cause I'm pretty nerdy about cold immersion too. Um, and also like anecdotal or experience-based things. And so I'll mm. open it off by saying like, I, um, got into cold immersion during, uh, the most like traumatic time of my life. Like I was in severe mm. fight or flight, like massive trauma. Okay. And I started hearing more. I had read, I had read Wim Hof's book and I, you know, just, it started popping up more and more in 2018. And, um, I just started with what I had at the time I was in the middle of a bankruptcy, just lost everything. Like it was like a horrific, oh, man. like both hey, like, with the previous business. Um, well, yeah, this was like yeah. basically my quick version story that these guys have probably heard is like, I was in a religion my entire life and a marriage. I found out the religion was bullshit, got out of the marriage and then landed myself like mm. a very, um, psychopathic, narcissistic, control type person. Mm. And so I lost everything at the end of that. Cause I had no boundaries and blah, blah, blah. So I had to start over, but it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Just like, I know you feel Love it's that. like, I call it the mm. best, worst thing that ever happened, you know, it just <laughs> woke great. me up. Right. But yep. at the bottom bottom of that now I've had to ask my ex-husband to take my kids during the week which like devastated me Mm. and like I'm living in this I had to live with a friend for four months I had nothing I like (sighs) finally got a two-bedroom basement apartment and it like wasn't enough for my kids so I only had them on the weekends I'm just like what that just happened in my life I'm trying to I started my business from that place I'm so I am spinning and like stress and distress right Mm. just so bad Mm. survival Mm. mode just like emotional processing it was a lot. And that was when I started cold. Okay. And I started with what I had was just cold showers. And thankfully at the time in Utah, I lived in a basement and it was winter and, and when all the pipes are super cold and the ground is deeply frozen, like those showers get cold. Like you don't get that in San Diego or Florida or here. It's like a nice spring refresh, you know, but in Utah in the winter, when the ground's frozen, it gets really cold, right? It's like, Oh, like yeah. it's, it, it's, it's intense. Right. And oh my gosh. Like I, I think when Hoff had recommended starting with, um, I think I heard him at one time say he recommended starting with just like 15 seconds. And I was like, mm-hmm. okay, I can do that. I can do 15 seconds. And, you know, I did this and I'm like, <laughs> you know, doing all the freak outs. And my, my daughter who was like, maybe, I don't know, 12, 13 was like, are you taking a cold shower, mom? Uh, that's great. <laughs> you know, they could tell from the other room yep. because my stress response was so, you know, out of control, really. And then mm. it got to the point where I gradually worked into 30 seconds and 45 seconds and a minute. And then I'm just going to stay in this until I don't want to anymore. And it went from freak out to breath and just mm. being with it. Right. And it really changed my relationship with stress. It mm. really taught me like I can breathe through anything, you know, mm. and I Bingo. already had run marathons, you know, I'd run the Boston marathon. Like I knew how to handle a stress response physiologically, but I'm telling you that and, and weightlifting, I'd already gotten, you know, muscles and all this stuff, but cold just sent that healthy stress response to the next level for me. And I will always be grateful. I don't have a cold plunge right now in Hawaii. So I've just been doing full body cryo chamber, which is like, mm-hmm. It's still good. You know, it's definitely not like an ice bath. It's definitely yeah. not the same as immersion, but it still like helps. I, I try to yeah. keep doing that just so I have something for now. But anyway, that's my story. And of course we can get Love into it. like 
adiponectin and brown fat adipose tissue and you know all of the different like cellular hormesis type things mm -hmm. and but you know to kick it off i'm just wondering if you could share you know what have you seen cold do for people yeah oh, fantastic I, I love your story with it and not too different from my story with it as well and how i kind of got how i got hooked on it it was like I, I really got addicted to it more from the i would say spiritual and emotional benefits than the mm -hmm. physiological benefits, mm -hmm. which is interesting. And I think that that's a lot of people feel that way as well. But for other people, it's more of the physiological and then that can be a gateway towards a deeper meditative practice or more inward because it forces you to go inward because think about just stand next to cold water before going into cold tub or, or putting your shower on cold and stepping in like it is an incredible psychological experience of pointing a spotlight on what your talk track is. What is your mental chatter? What are the yeah. fears that are coming up? What are the limiting beliefs? Yeah. What are you telling yourself? How do you engage with that? The thing that scares you, like what a beautiful exercise to engage with something that on the most fundamental basic level of us being human scares us <laughs> and scares us yeah. for reason of death, bad, scary, yeah. run away, right? We're wired for warmth and comfort and coziness. Yeah. So like when we have the contrast of that, cold water that we can suffocate and drown and freeze to death and get hypothermia. It's like, what a right. contrast. And how do we engage with that? How do we engage with that physiologically? What happens then? How do we engage with that psychologically in our mind? And then how do we engage with that psychophysiologically with the, the brain body connection? And so I, I love all the benefits for across the board and, and the different benefits that are studied and researched and then also mm -hmm. applied. But for me, the thing that I, I love the most about the cold and the benefits that I see are when I get, I've facilitated it. I mean, thousands of people, um, this point through the cold immersion and through their first cold immersion, thousands and thousands through their first cold immersion. And the best part is seeing someone do something that scared them doing something that they didn't think was possible and coming out on the other end. That is like, it's a light bulb moment that happens when you see someone actually go through and do something yeah. that didn't think was possible. And the first light bulb to that, which is my favorite light bulb is when you see someone in getting into an ice bath or getting into the cold and you see them regulate. So when you see them go from the trying to catch their breath into that sympathetic charge, that fight or flight, right. That like, Oh my God, it's cold. It's cold. It's cold to then be able to, mm -hmm. once you see them get over that hump and shift until they're in their parasympathetic rest and digest, they're at, they're back into their diaphragm. They're in their nasal yep. breathing. When you see that happen, it's like, that is magic because that is, and that's the benefit. That's the best benefit. It's a workout for your nervous system. You are training your nervous system to stay calm under stress. You're training your mind and your body to know what to do when you meet stress at that level yep. to be able to relax into it. And so when I see that, when, and, and and there's certain guidance and breathing techniques that I that, that, that we teach and we share, and we have that all now in our Edge app that we launch, where you can listen and have guidance I along saw the that. way. That's awesome. Yeah, which is exciting. We can talk about yeah. that later as well. But seeing that light bulb moment, fantastic. And then once that happens, it's smooth sailing, and then they get out after two minutes or three minutes or whatever it is, and just that lit up of like, whoa, I just did that thing. I did mm -hmm. that thing that I didn't think I could do, or was scary, or I had a whole limiting belief around. And I've seen people cry. I've seen mm -hmm. people break down, have these mm -hmm. emotional releases and experiences and, and feel the, the greatest joy and confidence they've ever felt as a result. And that surely trickles into their life. So that's one of my favorite things to see. Mm, yeah, I, I've seen, you know, in my experience with people, I've seen like the there are some people they get in and they're like, oh, nope. And they just like get right back yeah. out. And you're just like, oh, nothing but love. It's OK. Exactly. You know? And that's OK. Hey, yeah. even though you I, I, like I tell people as you well, tried it. resistance like. <laughs> like if you feel like oh there's no way i can make two minutes like go stand in and stand out and that's okay because that's a win because you're still saying hey i'm scared of doing this but i'm gonna do a little bit that's fine that's a win yeah. let's do it again tomorrow let's try it again in a few minutes when you feel better if you sit down and you get right back out hey shout out to you because you tried it but and, yeah. and then it's like baby steps your way right do it when you're ready because there has to be this you have to access it's kind of like it reminds me of the first time I tried to dump off, jump off a high dive with my kids. I'm such a freaking chicken wow. with heights and water. Like the combo of those two. Yeah. I was like, you call yourself a mindset coach? Like <laughs> it was so bad. I was like so scared. Yeah. Like, this is getting me. This is getting me. And but there's a moment when I finally did it. There's it's you have to access the side of yourself that's like, mm -hmm. I'm doing this. And that yes. is important to get in that space when you go into cold, right? Like, and yes. so you'll know when you're ready, you know? And yes. It, I, it's like more, I think, optimal 
to make sure you're in that space versus like, you're like, I don't really want to do this, but I have to, cause everyone's watching. Right. Me. Yeah. You don't want to be in that space. No, you know? no, so. you have to make it a choice. That's what yeah. I always say is make it a choice. Like yeah. make it a choice and, and make sure you're like, make it a conscious choice of like, cool, I'm ready. And, and right. that's why I'll always when I'm getting, especially beginners, when I'm taking them through the first time, I will go through a couple of breathing exercises before just to just to acknowledge the, the adrenaline drip you already feel and what's whatever's present. Do a couple of relaxation exercises yeah. and then like, okay, cool. I'm not going to start the timer until you're ready. It's like you step in when you're ready. We'll start the timer and we'll go yeah. like on you. And I yeah. think that's, that's, that's really important. important. And you would also, you would love given that combination. Well, I, I, I've led some retreats in Iceland. Um, usually you lead one once a year out there and, mm. um, and we do um, one of the days, sometimes what we'll do is we'll do a, um, a jump, a cliff jump into the cold water. So that's a great combination for you. That would be Ice, very good for water, me. Water, yes. cold water. That'd be good. <laughs> I got a friend in Iceland too. So that's a little. Uh, uh, there you go. Cool. Okay. Um, so I want to hit on some the breath work you were talking about because now sure. twice you've hit on um, like release, somatic release. So. Mm. You talked about that with your own breath work experience, which by the way, like I just have to make a quick like uh, what an advertisement for holotropic breath work or something along those lines where it's mm -hmm. like a long, not, I'm not talking about like just doing breath work for like two minutes before your meditation. I'm talking about a, like a full hour, like deep, yeah. deep emotional processing. Connected breathing. Yep. It is. I think it has become my favorite modality for somatic mm. release of trauma that like, you just can't really get to like, mm. you've talked about that coming all the way up, getting stuck in your throat. And then this huge, really that's breath work. I freaking love it. It's so powerful. And then cold, obviously, like when you get to um, the, like you're, opening yourself up through like addressing mm -hmm. your fears and being uncomfortable that can also be mm -hmm. like an opening right and so mm -hmm. i love the combo of these two um and i kind of have to ask um your opinion but I, I i'm gonna tee it up with this story one time i did a cold immersion thing in utah where we went up into the mountains and a hypnotherapist took us through like a really deep journey mixed in with some breath work so we were in this like ultimate like parasympathetic deep deep mm. parasympathetic and we did it right next to this like rushing freezing cold like you know it was in the spring so it's a snow melt right so the water was mm. real cold and we got in there and from that deep parasympathetic space, I mean, I, it was, we were like, no, we don't want to get out after like 15, 20 minutes. And we were like going under, putting our heads under. And it was like literally like an orgasm on my scalp. It was just like, this feels I love it. so good. Like it was unreal, you know? And so wow. that was my first experience, like understanding how powerful breath and cold can be mm -hmm. together. And I'm assuming since you mm -hmm. do retreats and you did Wim Hof's mm -hmm. thing, like you, can you speak on breath and cold together? Just what your experiences are yes. there. Yes. Absolutely. And, and the first thing I'll say is, um, is just a safety note is you never want to practice these deep breathing techniques in the cold or by the water. There's certain breathing techniques and more down regulation, but the, 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 the supercharge or the, the, the super ventilative breathing of the, so you never want to do that by the water. You, you never want to do that by the water um, or in the water because you can, um, or like do it with breath holds because you can pass out if you do that, oh, if you're standing okay. up especially, and you don't yeah. want to pass out by water. Okay. Um, Wim's actually going through a $60 million lawsuit right now because of this. So yeah. Um, big, okay. yeah, big, big <laughs> disclaimer. Yeah. And, and, and you see some people too, like similar to free divers, like, cause when you, when you do the deep breathing like that, you hold your breath in retention, you can hold your breath for a while. So, you know, it's easy to think like, oh, that's cool. Like I can go hold my breath underwater, swim really far. Mm. very not advised because what happens is something called shallow water blackouts where mm. you're basically your body doesn't trigger you to your, your body. You don't, you don't need to feel the urge to breathe, but your CO2 response happens without you. It overrides oh. your mental. Cause you could be like, I'm chilling, but then your body gasps and you take in air, even without you consciously thinking about it when you're deep in holds, this can happen. It doesn't happen all the time. Okay. But, um, and so that's why it's know. really dangerous. And there's, there's drowning that can be associated with that. So mm. first thing, breathing and water, um, and separate. breathing and cold separate <laughs> when you're talking about the deep, deep breathing yeah right but breathing and cold are hand in hand because you need yeah. to you need your breaths to steer your state of being and your breath does steer your state of being and you need your breath to be able to to go through the cold but the breathing when the and when the breathing and cold associated together think down regulatory sympathetic parasympathetic breathing so long slow exhales box breathing yeah you know, in for four out for eight that's all breath work too right so we want to bring that to the cold but we want to bring everything to the cold breath work related we want to bring 
down regulatory, down calming breath work. And then when we are laying on our mat or we want to explore sitting up, you know, by our yoga mat or on our yoga block that we can explore the deeper, uh-huh. the deeper breath work, as we know, a connected breathing, holotropic breathing. We just don't want to do that together with the water, but they, they go hand in hand for both of those reasons. So with, mm-hmm. with the, um, like, like I was just saying with the, with the breath work in the cold, you need to be into that. You need to be doing those deeper breathing techniques. Yeah. Can you talk about, okay, actually, let me show you this real quick. So one thing that I used to do, um, up in park city, Utah, there was a spa up there that well, don't try to find it guys. Cause they don't let people do it anymore. Um, <laughs> but it was, it, they had a cold plunge, a mm-hmm. hot tub, a sauna and a steam room, like all so together in the spa. And so I would go up there and I would just kind of rotate through and kind of use it as a day to like really just process my life and my business. And what I kept Mm -hmm. noticing is like when I got into the cold, every time I got in the cold, it was like my meditations went like universal, right? Like in the hot tub, I might be thinking about my kids or my family or like some of my clients or friends or, you know, um, for some reason, the steam room, I kept thinking about business was interesting, but the cold (laughs) I just, I wasn't, I just started to notice the pattern as I would have and the cold would send me into like, like almost like doing mushrooms or something like this, like deep universal truths. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, can you talk about any, I don't know, any thoughts on that? (laughs) Yeah, for sure. Well, I think it's because the cold forces you to be present. You can't be anywhere else, but with your breath and present. And I think that as human beings, when we're really present and with our breath, we can, we can access altered states. We know this, we've researched this. So we're accessing different types of brain waves. And I also think this is just pure speculation on my part, but there's something that's so powerful of this merging of primal. There's like this primal nature to getting into cold and you're accessing and you're activating these different, your, your, your different glands, your hormonal system, your endocrine system, you're, yeah. you're at your, you're, you're in this deep primal state in the brain stem, but you're doing it consciously. And so there's this kind of cool merging of consciousness with unconsciousness, this conscious mind, subconscious mind. And there's this mix yeah. with presence that creates this container for some of these experiences to happen. And I would suggest too, from a, um, more from a physiological standpoint, what's happening like with the breathing, because when you're doing deeper breathing, holotropic or trans breathing is connected to breathing, like for the breathing that I was doing when I had this, this release of like, I remember waking up from coming out of that and being like, what the hell just happened? Like, I was actually convinced that they did something. They put LSD in the water or something like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was my you released like, DMT. <laughs> straight up, you released DMT. Yeah. And I was also like, how is this possible? How is it possible for me to lay down on my mat and just breathe? All I did was breathe for an hour. I was just taking deep breaths for an hour. How is it possible that I can do that and have this wild experience? Like, how is that actually possible? What's happening? Mm -hmm. And, and there's all these, these crazy things that are happening in our body, but a big part of it is that we're, we're, we're moving the CO2 when we're, 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 we're navigating the levels of CO2 and oxygen. So when we're doing those deep breathing, we're saturating our entire body with oxygen, meaning that we're lowering our CO2 levels, right? CO2 and, and oxygen, the, the urge to breathe comes from the presence of CO2. So CO2 is a good thing, right? When we have CO2, it's like, okay, breathe. And you can hold your breath. And when we hold our breath, the urge to breathe doesn't come from a lack of oxygen. It comes from the presence of CO2. So when we have high CO2 in our bloodstream, it forces us to breathe. And so if we constantly are breathing, we're kicking out the CO2 and we're lowering our CO2 levels until they're, they're, there's no CO2 in our system. There's virt- virtually no CO2 in our system. And when that happens, that changes our, that creates vasoconstriction and that actually changes our blood flow in our brain and our body. And that changes where the blood is flowing to in our brain. So our blood can be flowing to different parts of our brain and giving access to our prefrontal cortex differently. So we're not in the thinking doing part of our brain because we notice they're doing this deeper breathing. We're going to have less blood and less brain activity in our prefrontal cortex, which is our thinking, you know, planning, logical side of our brain. And we're going to be more into our emotional brain, more in that limbic state. We're going to be more in that emotional feeling state of the brain, which allows for these different experiences to happen. So I thought that was fascinating as well is mm-hmm. that there's, there's only fixed amount of blood in our body and where that blood goes and where it goes into our brain, especially changes our entire experience with reality. And, and, and so that's a little bit on the physiological side that I found very fascinating when we're talking about some of these deeper super ventilative practices. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, holotropic breathwork really started coming forward when psychedelics got taken away and Stan Groff was a big part of that and bringing that forward. And 
Yeah. Um, you know, and it's, I don't know. I've kind of gotten past like worrying about if people are, I don't know, having their judgments or whatever from the dare program. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, well, yeah. they've massively changed my life and many others. And yes, you need to do them responsibly. And yes, they're illegal. And sure. yes, all these things. Okay, cool. But I'm just like, like if you've experienced, um, a well facilitated plant medicine or even psychedelic, even LSD, um, and right. sometimes MDMA for therapy and trauma and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Mm -hmm when it's done correctly with somebody who knows what they're doing, like it is a powerful tool, but what's so mm -hmm. cool is like, if you don't want to put a substance inside yourself and you also want to be able to kind of control the experience, you can just stop breathing, come out whenever you want, but you still want to have exactly. these kind of breakthroughs and it's pretty much free. There's probably a breathwork facilitator yeah. that will do it for like 20 bucks in person in a right. little, little group. And you're, yes, you're going to cry. I always cry and I always laugh. You know, yeah. I ugly cry, I shake a little bit, <laughs> get some trauma out of my body or whatever's going on yeah. and mm. laugh. And wow, it's such a gift. It's making me want to go mm. do it also. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it is, it is for me as well. And it's a big, it's a big, a, um, it's, it's just a passion because of what I experienced with it and what I, mm -hmm. what it unlocks within other people as well. And so that's part of the reason why we just launched our edge app and we have guided cold immersion sessions. We also have guided breath work session of the app and, and some guided sauna sessions as well to help you do some like lymph drainage and some things in the cool. sauna. So you're not just kind of like sitting there like, Oh, and I'm waiting for time to go or you're distracting yourself. So it's a really wow. cool app. And, and, and we have a, we have a handful of deep breathing journeys as well. There's there's really? dozens of other types of shorter mm -hmm. sessions for activating certain things, but we have a handful of, um, of deeper breathing journeys that, um, that are tremendous and, and it, it's really helpful. Like you can do it on your own as well, but when you have someone guiding you is great. And we wanted to make it accessible as well. So nice. the app, you get, there's free trial on the app. You can get seven, 14 days free trial on the app. And then it's 10 bucks a month, get access nice. to all these sessions. And then also we do live sessions as well. So once a, wow. twice a week, we do live breathing sessions, like shorter sessions. And then once, once or twice a month, we'll do like a virtual deeper breathing session with everybody. And that all comes as part of it. Cause that was part of my passion of wanting to share this cool. with people in an accessible way. So you can get those, you can get that. It's, it's like, it's, it's, it's just, it's, we're talking about these elements here. We're talking about you know, every shower can go somewhat cold. Everybody has yeah. access to breathing. Like these are fundamental things that we have access to that I want to empower people to explore. Like this is our birthright. It's our, it's in our DNA to be able to claim these and, and our life can change entirely when we do. Mm, okay. Hold on. Let's sit on this for a second. Yeah. First of all, when you say like you have access to something, the reason I even had that chest freezer that I bought on classified for like 150 bucks is because we were keeping bags of ice. This is how badly I wanted uh -huh. to do cold immersion. We were keeping bags of ice in it so that we could do cold immersion in our basement bathroom bathtub. I okay? love it. <laughs> and then eventually yeah. my son was like, Hey, like we could do this. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. Um, he's like, he's so cute. He's like, I priced it all out. I can do it for 50 bucks or something. But yeah, like you I said, it's it. a little risky. I'm like, how good did you do this? and like no one's gonna yeah, die yeah. in here right like shit yeah you know <laughs> it's a little risky yeah um, and then okay but my question is this like uh you said it's like 10 bucks a month the app the app yeah correct that's so Ecosystem. affordable and you can right? do you're saying like almost like a breath work workshop thing like a yes there's similar three, to holotropic. There's three. Exactly. So there's three functions that, that, that the app has. One is guided sessions. So you can access guided cold, guided breath work or guided sauna sessions. So you can put a coach in yeah. your ear and you can follow along. Cool. We have a handful and we're building out constantly more about specifically around these, like it's in our go deep playlist of these like deeper breathing okay. journeys. One of them is more trans it's called trans breath. It's more holotropic style yeah. breathing. The other one is one that I lead, which is called the summit, which is like more of a Wim Hof style mix. Cause it's longer than 30 breaths, but it's a buildup. Um, with rounds and retention. And then there's another deeper one as well. So that's, that's oh. number one function. Number two function is we have our, our community hub, which has, we have live, live, live events. So like zoom events, we have coaches that are leading three or four times a week. We have these events. You can just wow. RSVP, come onto zoom and you can get nice. a guided that we did yesterday, our, our group cold plunge with people coming in cool. from all over the, the country and world that are jumping in at the same time or doing cool. breath work at the same time. And then, um, and then once or twice a month, we'll do like a deeper weekend, like deeper breathe. And then the third is we have these educational mini courses on the app as well. So we wow. have one on cold immersion and one on breath work right now. We're building out others where we're diving deep into like lessons and then practices to be able to understand like what's, what's actually happening in my body when this is, when this is yeah. going on. So so the combination cool. of those things, we were just like wanted to make an absolute no brainer. So for 10 bucks a month or 70 bucks a year, if you buy the annual plan, you get a free trial and all of it, of course, too. You can get yeah. access to, um, to, to some really, really good things that could, could change your life.
Awesome. And do you have to have a tub through you guys to get nope. that? Cool. Nope. Yep. Nice. Open to open to all part of our, part of our, part of our big game plan to really to, to, to share this with as many people as we can. Awesome. I love it. I will check it out. I'm always looking for resources for clients, you love know? And- yeah. We'll, we'll put it in. We can, we can, we'll, we'll get you a link as well to, to share with all your, all your audience also. So we can get them in a, right. a, a, for long, longer free trial. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Of course. All right. Um, I think we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Did we miss anything here? Cool. I think that's, we've, I hope you guys are excited. I hope, I hope you get a tub. Um, yeah. So edge theory, you guys, edge, E-D-G-E, edge theory labs.com yep. is their website. You can uh, also find them on Instagram as edge theory labs. And you can find Joshua here as Joshua mm-hmm. Dean church. If you want to like follow him personally also. Oh, wow. So um, yeah, thank you so much for taking the time and for, like getting into action, right? Finding like that mm-hmm. is a lot of work. I I can't even imagine how much work it's been to create <laughs> edge theory. So thank you yeah. for doing it, you know, and mm-hmm. showing up yeah. and coming out and educating and appreciate you coming and sharing with us today. Abs- absolutely. And the last thing I'll just leave everybody with is like, you don't know what that one thing is that could change the game for you. And I like to believe that we're our, our intuition, our inner being, our spirit, is always leading us towards that thing. And usually that thing is wrapped, that, that gold nugget that we're waiting for is wrapped in a pile of crap. And it's like the pain, it's the it's the yep. things that make us contract, it's the things we wanna avoid. That is the biggest growth and lesson. So I just wanna encourage everybody that's listening, like you don't know what that thing is and to set yourself up for the best chance of getting that thing, like go face the shit, face the crap because it's probably there. And your inner being is guiding you on the path of least resistance. And you don't know what that one thing could be. So trust what, what you're, what you're being guided towards or what's interesting. Like, huh, I, I feel, inter- I feel called to like try an ice bath or try a breath work session or, or go to the gym or try, try this workout or go to this one thing. I don't know why, but I feel this, mm-hmm. this, this impulse to go do that. Like go do that thing. Cause that's yep. leading you where you need to be. Mm, so well said, Joshua. Thank so, you so much. What a pleasure. So great to connect. Looking forward to it again. Thanks. Thanks.